What institutional knowledge, external expertise, and associated resources exist for supporting faculty and students in experiential education? Designing and delivering experiential learning opportunities is a complex undertaking. It requires expertise in experiential pedagogy, awareness of industry and community service employers and the nature of the experiences that they can offer to students, and an understanding of internal and external legal, policy, and practice requirements specific to experiential education. It is a lot to know, and as a result, most universities and colleges take a team-based approach to supporting experiential education. Important contributors include course instructors, experiential education coordinators, and key institutional contacts. But again, it's, it's, it's the face-to-face -face element of it. Because we have a team, um, they can talk to any one of us, whether it's me, the advisor, or the coordinator, um, both the student and uh, the supervisor in the workplace. So depending on the issue, we'll bounce it back and forth between us to say, oh, this is more your kind of thing. You know, this, this is a purely logistical thing, so maybe the coordinator could deal with it. This is a student feeling uncomfortable. They already know our advisor and have a good relationship. Maybe that would be a good thing for you to deal with. Um, or a supervisor, it's been rare, but maybe has ridiculous expectations. And, and that's when, like, official representative of the university comes in and says, well, you know, we really must do it this way. We are a resource for faculty um, and, and staff who arrange them. And so we were here to take away any of those barriers, you know? We, we as an institution are a team, and what we need to do is present these learning opportunities for our students to get these amazing experiences. And we're a piece of that puzzle. We're a piece of the puzzle to make sure that these experiences are, are safe and that the students have the proper coverages that they need to, to make it successful and get the most out of it. Tons of great support. So we have a whole co-op department um, at the school. We have a, a co-op and career services department. Uh, so the co-op department provides those postings. Uh, once you reach your second year um, and you're preparing for your co-op placements, they have uh, weekly uh, module sessions uh, that you need to attend. Uh, they're mandatory. Um, so a ton of support through, uh, through co-op services. Um, and career services are, are fantastic as well. Uh, help out with uh, resumes, cover letters, LinkedIn profiles, that sort of thing. Um, and then just great communication between co-op uh, and the employers. Um, so we do uh, an end of term uh, report. Uh, we need to provide hours, uh, a reflection, uh, a 500 word uh, reflection on, uh, on what we've taken away from our co-op experiences. Um, there's an interview with uh, direct management and supervisors as well, um, and there is uh, um, a performance uh, evaluation that I need to submit as well. 